Hello, I'm Colin Harris from Nowhere, continuing the series on hooking up SAS and Excel. This is the third technique in the series, and what we're covering in this one is the Display Manager Export Wizard. As you will see on this slide, there's a range of 11 techniques we cover through the series, but this one is focusing on purely on using the Display Manager, or some may refer to it as the Base SAS Programming Environment, using the Export Wizard in there to create Excel spreadsheets. So what is it? It's a simple wizard, which means you just simply follow through a range of prompts and very easily create an Excel spreadsheet by following those prompts. Quite similar to the previous two techniques where we've done this with SAS Enterprise Guide, but this is for people who don't have Enterprise Guide and use the standard SAS windowing environment. What it does, the export wizard allows you not only to create Excel format files, but a whole range of other types of files as well. For example, comma separated files or Lotus files, quite a range of different, uh, different file formats. The type of approach is a SAS push technique. That means SAS can, is controlling the interface. It's pushing the information out or the data out to Excel. And what are we transferring? We're doing a data transfer. That means we're transferring data from a SAS table out to Excel. It's not procedure output we're transferring, but the data within a SAS table itself. What's it good for? It's good for one-off quick creation of Excel spreadsheets. What it also allows you to do is create the SAS code that, that generates the Excel spreadsheet. So you can actually use this technique for regular use, regular use also. You capture the SAS code and then you can schedule that to run on a regular basis every night or every week or every month or just have the code to run whenever you want to run it to uh, create a spreadsheet at that time. What it does is creating a new or overwriting an Excel spreadsheet. That means it's not updating an existing spreadsheet, but it's creating a new one from scratch. Let's have a look at how we do this. So here we are in the SAS windowing environment, or the SAS display manager. Go up to the top left hand part of the window, choose file, and you'll note near the bottom export data. So we choose export. It asks us then what is the SAS table we want to export and we're choosing the, SAS, the CARS table that we've been using all throughout the series. Select that one, move through and it asks us what file format we want to write out. Of course we are selecting the Excel workbook format. If you look down the list you'll see a whole range of other formats, comma separated files, tab limited files, uh, Lotus123 files, etc. We're writing directly to an Excel spreadsheet here, but you'll note one further down is actually the PC file server. That's something we'll talk about later in the series under the technique where we talk about the SAS access to PC file formats products. That, uh, but for now, we'll just assume you can use the Excel workbook option. Try that, and if that works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, have a look later on in the series and how you may have to use the PC file server approach. So here we'll just say next, where do we want the Excel spreadsheet to go? We're telling it here and giving it the name. That's fine, done that. And then it asks us, do we want to create or gen the generated SAS code? Keep that in a file. And if we do, we just fill in here what the uh, location of the file is that you want to have the generated SAS code. That's fine. We end the wizard. Automatically Excel pops up and we get the resulting spreadsheet, which is exactly the same as the spreadsheet we got for, from the Enterprise Guide Wizard. And as you see, just a very simple, plain spreadsheet, just with the data moved across from that SAS table into the Excel format. Okay, here's the generated SAS code, or an example of the generated SAS code. This example is actually using the PC file server um, syntax that's required, so there's a little bit more here than there would be in the simple version. It's got the server, the port, SSPI. That may be not required for your environment. I've just shown the example of the, the slightly longer piece of code. Okay, so what are the advantages to this technique? This technique is very quick and simple, just following through the prompts on the uh, wizard. So no programming, no code is required. And as a bonus, it generates that SAS code for us, so we can schedule um, and do, do this process again in the future. What's the downside? 
The downside of this is the no formatting, it's just purely the simple data coming across and you're ending up with a very simple spreadsheet without any change of colours or fonts or whatever. And what you need to use this particular technique, of course base SAS, but you also need PC file formats product, that additional product is required. And in terms of a setup, if you have um, a mixture of 32-bit and 64-bit uh, environments or you have Unix in your mix of environments where you want to run this you may need the SAS PC file server and as I said earlier we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Thanks for watching this video which is part of a series on hooking up SAS in Excel. The full PowerPoint presentation is available at nowhere.co.nz which includes references to good papers that provide more details.